Edexcel A-Level Maths, Pure Paper 1, Summer 2018, Question 8. The depth of water d metres in a harbour on a particular day is modelled by the formula d equals 5 plus 2 sine 30t, where t is the number of hours after midnight. A boat enters the harbour at 6.30am and it takes two hours to load its cargo. The boat requires the depth of water to be at least 3.8 metres before it can leave the harbour. A. Find the depth of the water in the harbour when the boat enters the harbour. So the boat enters the harbour at 6.30am, which is 6.5 hours after midnight. So we put 6.5 into our formula. Working this through, gives us an answer of 4.48 metres. For part B, we need to find to the nearest minute the earliest time the boat can leave the harbour. So for the boat to leave, the water needs to be at least 3.8 metres. So we're going to replace D with 3.8. This time we need to work out T, the time. Rearranging this gives us 2 sine 30T equals minus 1.2 sine 30t equals minus 0.6. Putting this into our calculator will give us an inverse sine of minus 0.6 minus 36.87. But we need a time that's in the future, not in the past, hence we need a positive answer. So looking at our sine graph, we can see that the next answers would occur just after 180 and just before 360. And by the symmetry of the graph, we can work this out by doing 180, add 36.87 to give us 216.87 and 360 minus 36.87 to give us an answer of 323.13. So checking out these two answers, we get that 30t equals either 216.87 or 323.13. Dividing through by the 30 gives us t values of either 7.229 or 10.771. Now, the boat takes two hours to load its cargo, so it can't leave before 8.30. So 7.229 is too small, hence our answer must be 10.771. But we need to convert this into a time. So 10 is nice and easy, 10 o'clock. To work out the minutes, we're gonna multiply our decimal by 60, which gives us a time of 10.46 a.m. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.